Hey guys, I'm here today to do a gift guide number two or part two. So if you missed part one, I'll link it. Um, I did go over kind of a different variety of things in that gift guide. So definitely check it out. Um, it has things that are good for everyone, um, smaller gifts, bigger gifts. So we'll jump right into this part two. First up, I have something for a girl in your life. Um, I am highlighting two duos from Glossier. I did talk about some other makeup items or like skincare items in part one um, that were kind of like sets from Sephora, but I have been trying out a ton of the Glossier items and I wanted to recommend them. So this is a great set idea for um, like, it has a body wash and a moisturizer. If you aren't interested in specifically the Glossier set, an idea like this where you get them a matching body wash and moisturizer is great. I know last year I got from Body Shop a sugar scrub and a moisturizer as a present and I really enjoyed it. So something like that would be a great gift idea. The other duo is a moon mask and a um, green galaxy pack mask duo. So these are two different masks. One is hydrating and one is detoxifying. So again, if you aren't interested in Glossier, you could always make your own mask duo pack to give them. I don't specifically know of other duos you can buy together for a discount like this is, but um, the Skin Food Black Sugar Wash Off Mask and the Rice Wash Off Mask are both really great masks, so that would be a good wash off mask option for a duo that would be not Glossier, but of course this option exists on their website to be gifted. So one is hydrating and one is detoxifying, so it gives them a little bit of variety in a mask duo. Then we have slippers. So these are slippers that I have given to my husband for a previous Christmas. Um, and they're Ugg slippers, but I've also given my mom slippers. I'll try to put them down in the description box and link them, but I don't have them to show you because she doesn't live with me. But slippers are always something that I think everybody wants. I know like my mom will wear through her slippers. Um, these ones I like because they have kind of a more thick sole. So if you needed to go outside in them, you could like bring out the trash or go grab the newspaper, something like that. For the ones for my mom, I tried to get ones with a thicker sole too. Of course, you could always get them ones that are good for inside, um, like, more indoor type slippers but i know that they're always really loved at christmas time because it's cold and we all want to be comfortable i know i asked for just regular uggs for christmas for myself then i got actually a watch so this is my husband's watch and it actually is getting kind of old but i gave it to him for christmas once and it's got a red face and a blue fabric strap so what i like about this and what he likes about it is that it's very different from a lot of watches. So it's not kind of a plain silver or a plain gold. We like that the watch face has some added interest to the watch and it's not super expensive given that it has a fabric strap. So it's pretty accessible if you wanna give someone a watch that's maybe they don't always wear a watch but you think they might wanna start wearing one or you think you know, they've never worn one because they don't have one. So this would be a good kind of like everyday starter watch that's not too expensive and still has you know some extra little pizzazz up next i have a jewelry option for women um i did tangle this on the way over here so that's a bummer but this is a system from marla aaron um her lock system so these are kind of based on the idea of a carabiner and it's a little lock that is um jewelry so what I've got here, she does a variety of different lock sizes and lock shapes, and then she sells chains that go with them. So you can change them up. Um, you can do all sorts of different things. She also has a bracelet hook type of attachment, which I have, but I didn't go grab it. Um, so you could take the lock off of the chain and put it on the bracelet. So I really like that about these. Um, what I would recommend is getting the smaller lock and the um, like silver chain, so they'd be a good starting option. Um, and then this is a gold lock with a black and silver chain, so it was a more expensive option. So if you know they like jewelry, those are good ideas. Um, a necklace is always something anybody can wear. Um, this is a 
pair of earrings. So if you know they have pierced ears, you could always get them some cool earrings. I like these um, because they kind of have like interest, but still being simple. So they're just a simple circle shape, but they've got the two different colors. Um, so I really like that a lot. If you know someone who likes to exercise and they often exercise at home, a good option is exercise bands. Um, so this gives them kind of a whole bunch of new things they can do in workouts. They can use these as resistance bands at home. Alternatively, they could bring them with them to any park they have nearby that might have a pull-up bar. If they don't have pull-ups yet, they can use these there to help them develop pull-up strength. You could do all sorts of different exercises with these types of bands, and they do sell them in various sets, so you can get different sizes. Um, this is like a thick size and a thinner size, so they give you different amounts of resistance. Another great option is subscription boxes. So Loot Crate does different subscription boxes, and and you can gift subscriptions to other people. So these generally come with a shirt now, always. So you will have to pick their shirt size. And then they come with a variety of other things. So this has a hat and a little water flask. What are those called? I don't know. Um, and just little tchotchkes in them. So getting a subscription box like this, you can get them a three month subscription, a six month subscription, or a year subscription, um, and they kind of give them something to uh, open all year long. For women, there's all sorts of different ones. I've gotten the Zoe Report subscription box in the past as a Christmas gift, um, which is a more expensive subscription box. Um, Ipsy and Birchbox and Sephora all have cheaper subscription boxes. FabFitFun has kind of a mid-range box. What's the other one? Glossy Box, I think. So those are all options that do kind of a variety of things. If you know they like perfumes, Scentbird is a subscription box for, for, for perfumes that you get to choose. So in your first one, they send you a little case and your perfume comes like this and you get to choose which perfumes you receive and it just pops out of the case and you put in a new one when you get it in the next month. And it's supposed to be a 30 day supply. It's eight mil milliliters so and they it gives them the customization to choose which perfumes they want to receive for the month and finally a few things that are always good gifts this is a pack of different teas this is from tiavana and they are kind of closing right now um which if you have a store near you a lot of things are on sale i don't know a whole bunch of details about the tiavana stuff um and they're like closing and everything but a pack like this is always a good option and tons of different companies that make tea do things like this or if they like coffee, you could get them a little set of like luxury coffees or gourmet coffees. Always a good option is a scarf. Um, so this is just one of my scarves and I've given scarves as Christmas gifts to my mother-in-law and she really enjoys them. And I think they're always a great option because you can't get a size wrong. So if you might have someone that really likes cute clothes and you're not sure what to get them. Um, a scarf is kind of an easy option because you won't get them the wrong size and hurt their feelings or anything like that. And finally here I have sheet masks. So buying a set of sheet masks is always fun. I think if you know anybody who is into skincare, they'll probably enjoy getting a set of sheet masks. But if they don't do a lot of skincare, I think they're kind of a funny thing. Like we're putting something weird on our face. Um, so they have character themed ones that have designs on the mask or you could get them just ones that you know are good. Um, I have here some leaders sheet masks and these are from Goodall. Um, so a set usually will come in a box. Um, this is a box of five. This was a set of ten, but you could get them a little set. You could always make that into a basket with other things or just a stocking stuffer type of gift and you wouldn't have to give them 10 if you don't want to but just an idea so that's part two of my holiday gift guide hopefully you guys are finding good ideas and getting gifts for all your loved ones i'll see you next time bye